I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, guys, we're going to be making a satin halter top. Now, please keep in mind, y'all, that this was a freestyle for me, so I will not go into detail about how I created the pattern because it was not in order. It was not in an orderly fashion. <laughs> I was just freestyling on what I wanted it to look like. I included a picture of my measurements that I took and I also included the image that I drew, if you can call that drawing, <laughs> of how I wanted the top to look. So please use that for reference when making this if you want to try it out. But other than that, let's get straight into the video. Okay, I'm going to be cutting out the necktie pattern and I'm going to cut out two pieces of this I wanted it to be two pieces because I wanted this whole top to be thick and quality I wanted it to be very good quality so I made sure that I did double of everything so that it could be thick and not thin so for the rest of the pattern pieces as well I made sure to double them so that each side could have satin so if you turn it on the wrong side it's still satin um, for the boob ties and the waist ties, those are also doubled. And the face part, the body part, is also doubled. Just for reference, because in these next clips, I'm also going to be cutting out pattern pieces as well. But I want you to know that I did cut out double of each one. So, for this, the boob tie, I cut out four. And for this body tie, I also cut out four. I cut these out on the fold, but I ended up cutting that little fold strip so it didn't even matter. But here are all my patterns laid out. I have four waist ties, four boob ties, and two of the necktie patterns, and two body patterns. Now that I have all my pattern pieces cut, I'm going to begin pinning them in the places that I'm going to sew. Now for this top, I wasn't sewing in every area so that's why you don't see me pinning in every area i'm going to show you guys exactly where i'm going to be showing i'm going to be sewing right across here i'm going to sew on the sides and i'm going to leave that little area open right there on the side to tuck in the boob tie i'm also going to sew across the bottom part and leave those side pieces open for the waist tie for the necktie, I'm going to sew all the way around and leave a little area open in the middle so that we can flip it inside out. For the boob ties, I'm going to leave the ends open and sew all the way around so that we can also flip those inside out. The waist ties will be sewn just as the boob ties. They will be left open at the ends and sewn all the way around so that we can flip those inside out as well. Once you have all of your pieces sewn, you want to press your pieces out so that the seams are flat. I use my heat press to do so, but you can use an iron most definitely, but you do want to press them out. So now that each piece is sewn and pressed down, this is what you should have. Now it's just time for us to construct the whole piece, put everything together basically. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach the neck piece to the actual top. And I actually ended up hand sewing that part. Next, we're going to top stitch all around the top. And that's how we're going to get the ties to stay in. So you're going to see me in the next clips tuck in the ties and tuck in the waist tie. And that's how we're going to get everything to stay. So eventually, I decided during this freestyle that I wanted pleats on this top. And I just thought that would look so much better. Like that would bring this top some character. So I added pleats and then I attached my necktie to the top using pins. And my first thing I was going to do was sew it together. But it was just too much for my machine. So I wasn't able to sew it together. And I ended up hand sewing that part. The hand sewing didn't take that long. 
but it is a little more time consuming than a sewing machine so keep that in mind so remember that little small area that we didn't sew over we're going to insert our boo ties there and pin it down We're also going to do that same exact thing to our waist ties, tuck it in and pin it down in those large areas that we didn't sew over. Once everything is pinned, this is what it should look like. So now I'm just going to go over where you sew. You're going to hand sew across the neck and then we're going to top stitch over the front of the heart to top. I'm pointing to the areas that you want to stitch. I did not stitch the bottom, but you can if you want. So here I am stitching over the sides. And as I'm stitching over that boob tie, that's what attaches it. So I just want to show you guys how I do it. And you only want to leave maybe really less than one fourth of an inch of room. You can see how much room I left between my stitch and the end of the top. So you just want to take your time doing this. Sometimes when you're going over a lot of fabric, your machine might not pick up or it might not sew through. So just be careful and take your time. Once everything is sewn together, this is what you should have and you're done. That's it. I actually ended up gluing with E6000 glue a diamond chain or diamond trim to the necktie area just to give it a little more, you know, <laughs> pizzazz. You can do that as well. If not, you can leave it just like that. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And that's all I have for you guys. May your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.